This is the console of an international business machine 705 system, one of the various makes used by the U.S. Army. Here is a Remington Rand Univac system in operation at the Franklin Institute in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Our computers handle over 15 billion dollars worth of electronic transfers daily. Banks can now exchange money or make payments by simply pressing the keys on a computer. Payments are transferred through the telephone lines by computers that talk to each other. The computer has reduced to minutes, a process that used to take days. It is a giant building with a lot of power, a lot of cooling, and a lot of computers. It's row upon row upon row of machines, all working together to provide the services that make Google function. Most data centers have air conditioning units along the perimeter walls that force cold air under the floor that then raises up in front of the servers and cools the servers. In our solution, we take the server racks and we butt it right up against our air conditioning unit. We just use cool water flowing through those copper coils that you see there. So the hot air from the servers is contained in that hot aisle. It raises up, passes across those coils, where the heat from the air transfers to the water in those coils, and then that warm water is then brought outside the data center to our cooling plant, where it is cooled down through our cooling towers and returned back to the data center, and that process just repeats over and over again. It is the strongest uh, structure in the world and holds more, creates more space than uh, using fewer materials than any other design. Everything about this design has nothing to do with the looks. It, every, every element of it has to do with efficiency, with sustainability, with, and with flexibility. Data centers are the foundation to the cloud. They're the building block. We take what turns from concrete and steel and fiber and copper and power and turn it into a product and a service. Customers come to the cloud because they want the latest and greatest technologies. They want to be able to deploy that anywhere in the globe at any time without any constraints. If these new technologies are going to come about, would we rethink the way a data center is designed? Would we think about possibly moving the power generation and the uh, consumption of power much closer together. We chose fuel cells for Project Start because they have some unique characteristics that fit really well with the way that we consume power. The ocean is has an amazing capability to absorb heat. I mean, water has over a thousand times the heat capacity of air. So uh, the experiment I always like to, to talk about is if you take like a a balloon and put it over a candle, it'll pop really quickly, but if you put a water balloon over a candle, it won't because it can absorb so much more heat. And because we are able to use the ocean water for cooling, we're not uh, dependent on freshwater resources uh, from local communities, which is it has started to become a problem where typical data centers have to use freshwater cooling to keep those computers cool, and we don't have that problem.